Barcelona bounced back from their defeat to Osasuna over the weekend with a crushing victory over Young Boys in their second UEFA Champions League match, netting an impressive five goals and securing their first win of the European campaign. Fans are certainly loving the goal fest, but Hansi Flick, in true German fashion, seemed completely unfazed. Robert Lewandowski, who scored twice that night, had Flick casually glancing at his watch after the second goal, as if saying, what are we waiting for? Let's score a few more. It's the kind of moment that never stops being funny. Future Barcelona goalkeeper Wojciech Szczesny watched the game from the stance. He was spotted in the VIP section before the match, marking the first time Szczesny attended a Barca game as a fan. And is there a better way to welcome him to Barcelona than a goal from his fellow Pole? Of course not. Cameras cut to Szczesny's reaction just a minute after Lewandowski's first goal. The keeper was calm and composed, as if he expected nothing less from Robert. Fans also noticed Barca players not involved in the match greeting the Polish keeper. Interestingly, they all greeted Szczesny quite casually, simply shaking hands without much conversation. Fans think this suggests it's not the first time they've met, and that Szczesny has already been introduced to the squad. With Barcelona already leading 3-0 at halftime, Lewandowski went down in the young boy's box after a foul by Mohamed Kamara. To be fair, there was definitely contact and it looked like a penalty, but the referee didn't call it. Fans believe the Swiss team was spared out of mercy. Maybe they didn't want to add to the boys' suffering. One fan said, yes, the scoreline definitely influenced that decision. The onslaught began early in the evening when Lewandowski scored a simple goal in just eight minutes. Rafinha doubled the lead in the 34th minute before Inigo Martinez made it 3-0 just three minutes later. Restarting the game with the same intensity after the break, the Polish striker bagged his second to make it 4-0 in the 51st minute, essentially sealing the victory for Barcelona. An own goal late in the night added to the team's tally. However, Tribuna's stats show that Ferran Torres was Barca's worst attacker in that first half. Ferran had the fewest touches of any Barca forward, with 15. He didn't provide a key pass or create any chances during that time. The Spaniard had a chance with Lewandowski but couldn't convert the shot, which was saved. Ferran Torres had an opportunity to make his mark against a weak opponent, but failed to take advantage of it. Even though he didn't create as much direct threat as the other three attackers, Torres did well with his link-up play and movement, often drawing defenders away to create space in the final third. Despite Ferran's underwhelming performance, Barcelona had no issues winning the game. Golden Boy favorite Lamine Yamal was electric once again on the wing, frustrating the opposing defense to the point where they fouled him every time he got the ball. Despite the physicality, Yamal stood strong, using his skills to lead Barcelona's attack and frequently create direct threats on goal. Ansu Fati, making his first significant appearance of the season, looked active and sharp, trying to get into good scoring positions. However, he still lacks some confidence, and he'll gradually get back into form after being sidelined for so long. Frankie de Jong came on for his season debut and looked sharp with his movement and touches, taking command of the midfield after Pedri's exit. Rafinha was the orchestrator of Barcelona's play in the final third, continuing his magical start to the season with an inspiring display from start to finish. The Brazilian star provided a fantastic assist for Lewandowski's opener before pouncing on a rebound to double the lead. What did you think of the match? Was it worth Hansi Flick sacrificing the game against Osasuna?